What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. This is one of the final days for me in Las Vegas doing a solo vlog for you guys. About to check out this place called the Golden Tiki. It's like a Hawaiian slash, I heard it's like Disney, have Disney props in there. I don't know, it looks, it's totally unique in, in terms of presentation. Like, I feel like I'm in Hawaii and they have so many cool um, things inside. I, like, I'll show you. I don't know if I'm gonna eat because I'm kind of full. Maybe I'll get a few of their drinks. Uh, I heard their Dole Whip is pretty good, like the one in Hawaii, except this has liquor in it. <laughs> so it's right off the strip. Not on the strip, sorry. sorry. It's away from the strip. It's in Chinatown area. Chinatown has a lot of uh, good places to go. This is one of them if you guys are ever in the area. If you want to try something unique and different. All right, so let's go inside and check it out. Back at Chinatown, guys. Here we go. Has a little alcohol in it. Nice presentation with the flower and umbrella. <laughs> nice touch. Nice touch. Let's try it. Hopefully, it's as good as they say it is. That one was pretty strong. Alfonso, but you can call me Al, and I want to welcome you 
all to Brandon Powers Golden Tiki and to all of the strange and wonderful things that happen in the tropical isles of the Pacific where fantasy and legend walk hand in hand with Tiki Talk. We would like for you to sit back and relax, but not as much as Bod is relaxing over there. Jesus, I can smell that shit from here. Tastes just as good as the wine go with the have you tried in Hawaii. Uh, pretty sweet, ice cold, refreshing. The bartender told me it's better when uh, it starts to melt and it mixes in with the rum. So we'll try it. I'm letting it melt a little bit, but here's what I have so far. Oh man, I finished it. This is so good. It's dangerous. Barely taste the rum. I taste a lot more of the Dole, Dole Whip, but that's what makes it like if you drink too much. <laughs> Forget it, but it's pretty good, guys. Not bad. Well, that was the golden tiki. What do you guys think? It's a, <laughs> love the Hawaiian vibes in there. Like the design and everything is just, you know, reminds me of Hawaii, the tiki style. Uh, a lot of, from what I heard, there was a lot of Disney influence in there from what I've seen from other YouTubers and you could see it from that bird singing, right? I don't know if they, I think he collects them and then he puts them there, whatever it is, but pretty good right it's a little dark in there so I suggest you guys if you do decide to try to come in like take pictures or film make sure you have a good camera or um, something with light right I didn't try any any of the food although I heard it's okay it's pretty good but you do you do really come here for just the drinks I got the dole and there were other drinks like it they light it up in fire it's very Instagrammable so if that's your thing and you like to drink I don't drink as much I drink only when I need to like for you guys or for friends or there's a party or something but I'm not a heavy drinker so but it was good. That um, Dole Whip kind of definitely reminded me of Hawaii, and it had a special kick to it. Once it started melting into that that uh, the rum, she said you could mix it with the golden uh, with rum, pineapple vodka. You can mix it with whatever drink, and she suggested the the dark rum. So that's what I had. And I gotta tell you, once it melts into the to the uh, alcohol, the ice cream, you can't taste the alcohol anymore. It just that's dangerous to me because. You, if you order another one and you'd be like, oh man, this is so good. I'm not feeling anything and then boom, you're hit, right? <laughs> Unless you, you can handle your alcohol, but me, one is, one is good enough for me. Anyway, they also have those uh, miniature, I love those miniature heads. It has like all different actors. There was another room that I couldn't get in because it was packed with people. I didn't want to disturb them, but there were, there were a bunch of heads. They're just all over the walls of actors, um, different different personalities. And I think you could get your head done here. I'm not sure how much. So if you <laughs> if you want to put your head into one of those cages, uh, they could do it for you. But but uh, it's not cheap. That's all I know. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If this is your first time watching the Poggy Boy Productions, and you want to be part of the crew. Just smash that uh, bell button down below. Get notified. Make sure you subscribe so you can. S get notified of all our future videos like comment and uh share this video too all right because sharing is caring so see you guys in the next video bye guys